Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I have a project share for Scrap Diva Designs and this is featuring her Star Slimline Card die set. So this came out in the July release and it looks like this. You get two dies in this die set. The first one is this plate which punches out stars and it punches out basically this entire rectangle. Then you also have a layering plate which is for I believe the um, I don't know if this is actually the size of a slimline card, so I don't make them very often. Um, but yeah, you also get this other layering piece as a background, and this also has stitching around the border too. So the other dies that I use in my project are this Halloween Words number two die set, and this came out either last year or the year before, but there's six sentiments here. Uh, it says scary, horror, Spells, Midnight, Howl, and Scream. And the last die set I used is this Candy Cane Numbers die set. And there are two layering pieces. You have the top part, which is the Candy Cane Stripe layer, and then you have the base layer. The paper collection I used is the Frank Arsena Luna collection. I believe these are no longer being manufactured, so if you find them on scrapbook.com or other scrapbooking sites, I recommend that you grab it because they, once they sell out, uh, Prima Marketing doesn't reissue them. So this is a Frank Garcia collection which came out a couple years ago and it has some really adorable images. Let me just show you real quick. Like Frank Garcia tends to mix kind of cute images and vintage images. Look at that. Really, I really enjoy using his Halloween collections. And if you like pastel Halloween, you know, this is a great paper pad to have. And then the cut apart I used was this one here. But here you can see there's different cards that you can cut out. This one, have, they have great patterns in this one. So you can have kind of a spookier haunted house one. Then you have this girl with the pumpkins. This one's one of my favorite prints from the collection. And you also have this cats and moons. Another great cut apart. This is all tags. You have the orange dots. This one's a really pretty paper too. And then this one as well. cobweb, ghosts, yeah. But yeah, I highly recommend this paper pad if you're into pastel Halloween crafting. So here's my project. This is made from an eight by eight sheet of paper, which I folded in half and then I stitched around the border. So again, I only used this star plate and everything that you punch out, of course, you can use as shaker bits in a shaker project. And there's the candy cane letters, which I, or numbers, which I cut using black and white cardstock. Scary is cut using holographic paper from um, Michaels. And the pink foam is from Hobby Lobby. There's the cute cut apart from the Luna collection. I have these little flowers that are cut using Stampin' Up punches. Again, using holographic paper and some white glitter paper as well. This spider is also from a Scrap Diva die set, but I believe it's from the Witch's Hat die set, which I don't believe is available anymore. All the die sets I'll have linked in my description box, so if it's available, I'll, I'll link it. And this flower is fussy cut from a Jen Hatfield collection. I can't remember which collection it is, unfortunately. Oh, I wanted to point out that these foam stars are also cut from another Scrap Diva die set, and it's the rainbow, rainbow envelope die set, or rainbow, I can't remember exactly, but I'll have it linked below, but this is part of that die set. So I just did some minimal layering here. I have this confetti tool, which is also from Michaels and you know stitched around a little cut apart with some gold thread and yeah i just had fun creating this this would also be really fun 
to put on one of those plastic trays. It's like a container that's like a three-part container that you can get from Dollar Tree. I originally wanted to use this on that, but it's a, it was a little bit too long. I mean, this was a little bit too long for that, so I wasn't able to, or maybe it was too tall. But yeah, I wanted to use this as a cover for that box, but it just didn't quite work out dimensionally, so I pivoted to creating a card. So there's that, and then I also made a second card. And this is just a four by six card, and it's an eight by six sheet of paper, which I folded in half to make the four by six. And again, you use the little flowers from Stampin' Up Punch. This cut apart is from the Crate Paper Cute Girl collection. And then there's a sentiment sticker there that says today is a good day. And that is from a Jen Hadfield sticker book. I stitched around the edges similar to the slimline card. This is a layering piece, which this purple gradation, I believe is from the Maggie Holmes Garden Party Collection. And then I trimmed down the star plate to fit the card. So that's why you don't see the stitched edging at the top or bottom. So yeah, th those are my projects for today. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. Please follow hashtag Scrapdiva Designs for project inspiration. I will have the dies that I used in my projects linked below. And have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. Bye.